The Neighbors finale was a ratings winner for Channel 10 last night, attracting a metro audience of 873,000, making it the number one program of the night in the capital cities. Combined with a regional audience of 215,000 and 60,000 people tuning in via video on demand, Neighbors reached 1.148 million people across the country yesterday. A senior lecturer in cinema and screen studies at Swinburne University of Technology, Dr. Jessica Balanzategui, told ABC News the ratings were a sign of the ongoing interest in cultural event television, but was also reflective of the fear of missing out FOMO. I am sure a lot of those viewers hadn't watched Neighbors in any sustained way for many, many years, Dr. Balanzategui said and they wanted to see it off as part of that kind of cultural participation in the end of an era. Dr. Balanzategui said it's a sign of the times that a show that had been woven into the fabric of everyday life has ended at a time when streaming services have replaced scheduled communal free-to-air viewing. It was for many people this kind of daily ritual, and keeping up with the very frequent and swift narrative twists and turns meant that you had to keep on top of those scheduled broadcasts, she said. So, that is a particular way of consuming television that I guess functions like a cultural glue. Where we all have to watch it in a synchronized way and have the conversations about what happened in last night's episode in a synchronized way, which obviously doesn't happen to the same extent with on-demand viewing, which is the streaming service model. Dr. Balanzategui said with the absence of legacy TV shows on Australian television like Neighbours, A Country Practice, Blue Gila's and The Flying Doctors. She will be watching closely to see what becomes of Home and Away. The question is around whether these kinds of long-running soap dramas have a place in the streaming era. She's not convinced there won't be a resurgence of shows like Neighbors in the future, pointing to the fact that as recently as five years ago, Netflix was focused on providing an alternative that superseded broadcast television, but was now considering a subscription model that offers advertisements.